Hello everyone, so today we're going to do a 10 minute ab workout routine. Um, you can do it either in the morning or in the evening. It's nice for warm up before you want to stretch. I think it's very easy to integrate like a 10 minute routine into your daily life and um, it will give you the core strength which is super helpful whatever you're doing. Let's get right into the workout. We're starting with the simple crunches. Keep your hands onto your chest. For the easy version if you want to have it a little bit more difficult you can also cross your arms over your chest or you can keep your hands behind your head this is the most difficult version focus to keep your abs inside belly button is reaching in and breathing out when we're coming up Good. And we have a short rest. As next exercise, we're going into toe dips. Lift your legs into tabletop position. Here, also make sure your vertebra stays the whole time on the floor. Belly button is reaching in and just have some small dips towards the floor with your toes. Try to keep the 90 degree angle of your legs and make sure to not forget to breathe during the whole exercise. The belly button is still reaching in and just take your own tempo. Better doing it correctly than doing it quick but in a wrong way. Breathing out when we go down and lift the leg and in between small breathing in. Arms still relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Next exercise we extend the left leg and the right arm and try to touch with the hand or toes with extended leg and then crossing armpit is reaching towards me. We go also 50 seconds on. If you can't reach your toes, it doesn't matter, you just try to reach towards your extended leg. Breathing out when we're crossing, abs are reaching in, belly button is reaching in. And really try to reach with your armpit, not just your elbow, to really have a nice cross of your abdominals. And all the time when you extend the leg is reaching out towards the wall in front of you or whatever is there. Also here try to keep the shoulders relaxed, the long neck. We're going to go to the other side, left leg extended, right arm is open. And here we go. Try every time to reach a little bit further, to feel a little bit more your abs working. And also here we don't want to fall into an arch when we're going back. And also here take care the leg which is not working but just resting, the knees looking upwards and you're not falling in or out. And don't forget to breathe, breathing out when we're crossing. Just three more. Very good, short rest. And as next we're coming in simple bicycle, take up your legs into tabletop position and cross from one side to other. Also here the armpit is reaching. And also when we're crossing here, we want to breathe out to really reach with the belly button in even further. And if you can, try to point your feet.
Also here we would never want to fall into an arch, we want to keep the legs connected. And if you feel it's too hard like this, you can also keep your legs a little bit more up, direction 90 degree, and crossing a little bit more up. Very good, short rest. Next exercise we're coming to sitting position in a Russian twist. You can either leave your feet on the ground or lift them a bit off the ground if you want to challenge yourself. And we just have a nice twist. Also here belly button reaching in. Try to keep your chest open. It's a slow movement to really feel the twist and the slower you go the harder it will be. Very good. Try to only twist from your abdominals and not from your hips. Really reaching towards the floor. Very good. Next exercise we come onto our elbows, legs lifted into tabletop position. And this time from here we want to extend one leg and come back and the other leg. Really reach forward with that leg. And now since we are on our elbows we really can focus on keeping the abdominals inside. You can check yourself, you can look down towards your lower stomach and we want to reach in. Only the leg is reaching out. Also here when we're reaching we're breathing out. And try to keep the chest open, don't sink into your arms. We have only a few more, very good. Nearly done with all the exercises. Three exercises left after this one. Very nice. And from here we're going into plank for 50 seconds. Go onto your elbows. If you have some trouble with your elbows, you can also go onto your hands. You want to reach out with the heels and head is reaching forward. Abdominals are pulling in the whole time and we try to stay in one line. Also think about your neck. Don't let your head drop down. We really want to reach forward and have a very long spine. Don't forget to breathe, breathing in and out. Very good. And again, check yourself. We don't want to sink and arch our spine. We want to keep the long, long line. Very good. Just shortly come back. Next one we're going into side plank. You can also either go on your elbow or onto your arm and we go up. From here open your arm up and just have a twist like you want to go down under your side. Feel again the twist in your side abdominals. We have 10 of those twists and just going to hold afterwards to finish the 50 seconds. Very nice. Also here don't forget to breathe, keep the long line, push your hips one more time up if you need to. Now keep holding your arm extended or you can put it onto your hips for the last few seconds. 10 seconds of holding the plank. And slowly lower down. We're going to the what's the other side. Again on your elbow or your hand and we lift up we open the arm and we have for 10 and 9 keep your pelvis up very good
chest, keep the arm up or on your hips. The last exercise, you can do it, just hold for a few more seconds. And slowly lower down. Very good work, we're done. So if you like this workout, feel free to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, you can follow on my um, website. And also if you want to book like one-on-one -on -one classes or want to do like full-length Pilates, Sterokinesis or even ballet classes, feel free to check the page. Whenever there are online classes, it will be listed. And if you like, you can participate. Reach up out of the top of our head and our sit bones are reaching down. So we have an overarch of our spine. So here we're in the arch. Push and open our chest. 